Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to discuss about the descriptive statistics with a sample data. The scenario is a quality control engineer needs to ensure that the caps on a shampoo bottles are fastened correctly. The caps are fastened too loosely, they may fall off during shipping. If they are fastened too tightly, they may be too difficult to remove. The target torque value for fastening the caps is 18. Okay. The engineer collects a random sample of 68 bottles and tests the amount of torque that is needed to remove the caps. Here you can find the 68 values. Okay. This is the 68 records we have to check the torque. Okay. And uh, I have two columns, it is a torque and a mission. So I have two types of mission, one and two. Okay. So what is the value for fastening? It's 18. Okay. So as a part of initial investigation, the engineer analyzes the descriptive statistics of the torque measurement to assess the distribution of the data from each mission. Okay. So that is what we are going to do here. See, we have two data, okay, that is two column, that is torque and mission. So we are going to find the descriptive statistics for this. So how can we do that? See here, you can see this is a header for both the column and these are all the records, okay. Now I'm going to do the descriptive statistics. So click here, stat, click here, basic stats and stat basic stat and click display descriptive statistics so once you have displayed that you can see a window okay here you can see that it's a variable you you wish to consider and this is by variable so what is the basic variable you have to use and what is based on based on which variable you have to find the descriptive statistics so in variable i'm going to enter the tag okay so click on the tark and click select which will be copied to the variable okay and uh, by variable i'm going to tell a mission okay mission is what my by variable so i'm going to click on the by variable text area and then click the mission and click select where you can find these two columns appears in the variable text area and by variable text area got it again i'm doing see click on the stat menu and go to basic stat and click display descriptive statistics you have to give variables that is for sure so for that i'm giving tag because we need a tag value as 18 right so that is what we have to analyze so click select it will be copied in the variable and in the by variable you are supposed to select the machine and click select here okay now we have to decide what are all the statistics descriptive statistics measure we want okay so for doing this what i can go with is the uh, you can just select okay so what i'm going to select is you have two options okay statistics graphs okay so now i'm going to click the graph button okay let's see the graph button and then i'm going to click the histogram of data you have various graphs okay it can generate various graph that is histogram histogram of data with normal cow individual value plot and a box plot of data okay so i'm just going to click histogram of data individual value of plot and a box plot Okay, click OK. See, you have statistics. If you click on statistics, you can see various options that we will come later. And now I'm just, I have just used a graph and whichever the relevant graph you want, you can simply select it. If you don't want any graph, you can unselect it. Okay, and click OK. And then finally, you have to click OK. Okay, once you clicked OK, see it is processing and it will start generating a graph. You can see the graph in the output. Okay, so see here, you can see this is the variable and this is the mission 1 and mission 2. N, that is, you have nearly 62 data, right? So, N and 68 data, right? Okay, and uh, N star mean SE, okay? 
STDVE that is standard deviation minimum quartile 1 median quartile 3 and maximum okay and if you just scroll down you can see the histogram of torque by mission what is the histogram an individual value plot of a torque of mission and a box plot of the torque. so these three things which we have given and in the right side you can see that you have the history so what you have generated that you can see in the right side okay so here in this you have to interpret the result right here you can see that okay the mean torque value of mission one that is what is a mean torque value see you can you have to just okay this is your mean torque value so the mean torque value of mission one is closer to the target that is what right our target is 18 okay then the mean torque value of mission 2 because mission 2 is nearly showing 24.19 okay so the mean torque required to remove cap from mission 1 is 18.667 and the mean torque of the mission 2 is 24.19 so the distribution of data from mission 1 also is less variable and the standard deviation that is the distri distribution SE also you can see standard deviation also you can see you can find the various things okay uh, the graph also shown that there is a difference in the mean torque okay there is a difference in the mean torque that is in see this is your mission one so you it is gradually it is moving around where the mm, two you have various difference okay so difference in the two missions okay so this is what the graph this is what the interpretation you can write it okay this is what your output and see if you just right click on the graph okay you can simply copy the graph and paste it anywhere okay in your uh, paint or anywhere you can paste it and if you want to send it to the microsoft word powerpoint anywhere okay you can just send it even if you want to edit the graph you can click and edit it okay if you want to change the colors you can change so that we will discuss later in the further session so this is about what that is to create the descriptive statistics that is using the graph okay so this is how we have uh, did so just simply we have copied the data okay the data is already there so we have used what we have used we have used only the graph method now i'm just going to show you how to see uh, the statistics like all the other statistics okay here you can see that this is a graph method so i'm just switching over to the normal view using the icon okay now i'm going to uh, display the uh, so click on the stat basic stat and you have to click the store descriptive statistics Le display descriptive statistics means it will show the output on this display that is with the help of the graphs okay and if you want to store the value that is to summarize the descriptive value using a standard deviation or anything else like a tabular format then you have to go with the store descriptive value so click that and as usual you have to use the variable as a tar and a mission in the by variables and you have to click on the statistics okay here you can find various statistics option that is the measures which you can give it for as of now we are just minimizing it with what see here you have a mean okay and then go to the standard deviation and you have n non-missing okay that is non-missing value if you want more you can click see uh, variance if you want variance if you want median first quartile third interquartile so whatever you want you can simply select it okay and you can click ok and then finally you have to click ok so here in the worksheet itself you can see the output can you see yes this is what the output okay so and this is your uh, by variable okay this is one and two because this is what the by variable you have given and what is the mean and what is the standard deviation so even here you can see that mean that is uh, for mission one 18 which is really equal to the target okay that is not exactly equal to the target but it is somehow near to the target whereas in mission two it is not equal okay and standard deviation variance you can see it's a it's a big variance in uh, mission two okay quartile median uh, quartile 3 and uh, n1 okay so these are all the 
um, store descriptive statistics which you can get it and this is the display descriptive statistics which you can get it okay this you can use it for your uh, uh, your research purpose i'll meet you soon with the next video uh, with some other exciting statistics feature thank you